Hi guys, so we're in Kildare and this area is known as Fay Cullen. Now I've had a look online and this church is abandoned but it also has a little small graveyard attached to it. So we'll go in and have a look and maybe take a look inside the church as well. So if you look closely enough in the steeple, you can still see that the bell is there attached. And just here you can see some tombs. Joseph Manley departed this life February 17th, 1911. And these are all marble. Evelina Ann, it looks like. Is it Nagel or Neil, maybe? 1900s. Aged just 16. And beside that one. Um, it's Anne, it looks like. Or it's an unusual. It looks like A N N J I N. Anjan Georgina Neil. So these are all the Neils. Departed this life January the 21st, 1914. So the tree in there and Neil I think is the the surname. Now this is as I said Kildare. It's taken me probably just under two hours to drive to here. In loving memory of Patrick Pat Carl, the cottage mill town, 1928. And this is actually, all this here, all this moss you can see is in the shape of a heart for Patrick. It's hard for the, the phone to pick it up. So someone has come in and tried to clear the area. There's some beautiful daffodils growing. Look at all that. Absolutely gorgeous. That would have been beautiful in its day. We have two, two um, sorry, headstones here, slightly leaning forward. Erected by John Rourke, it looks like, of Boston. In memory of something, something, something. It's very hard to read. I'm going to try to go around a bit. There's a Patrick there. Let's see if you can see. 75 years departed this life that's his age Rourke Patrick Rourke 1815 so there must be a few people here um, 1806 is it 806 it looks like aged 40 but unfortunately it's really really hard to read even with that torch this is pa erected by Patrick Kennedy um, for Anne, his beloved mother, Anne Kennedy, who died June 1895. And then there's his brother, James, who died 1884, aged just 11. And then the above Patrick is here as well. He was 74 when he passed in 1938. His brother-in-law, Nicholas, 
died January 1943, aged 63, and his wife Margaret, April 1941, I think it is, age 70. We have rails here. Now it is freezing cold. We have more headstones here. I didn't expect actually to see as many headstones in this area. That's gorgeous. In loving memory of John C. Wine, 1965, age 64, and his wife Catherine, 19, looks like 97, age 76, and their grandson Mark. 1869 to 1969. Isn't that gorgeous though? Now these rails. Gorgeous. Wrought iron rails. They're absolutely gorgeous. We won't be able to read that, I don't think. Irish Eyes is going to hold the torch for me. And I'll see if I can get any kind of shot for it, or a better shot. All right, we can't get in much further than that. I don't know that you can read that. Can you read it? 1827, it looks like. And then died 1865. So it's Charles Wolfe. Assistant of Hogarth, County of Kent. British something. I think it's Harvland. The County of Kent, British captain at H-A-V-R-E, Harv. Harvland. Harv. Rector of this parish. Sorry. Rector of this parish. Born 1827. Died 1865. So quite hard to read that, but quite interesting. We have another railed one here. Now just look at the tree, the way it has grown up through and almost around the rail itself. Look at that. Frances Manning, daughter of the late Dr. Manning, Ratrome County Wicklow, who died at Newington, New, sorry, Newington Newbridge, 1878, age just 26. Not gone from memory, not gone from love, but gone to her father house, father's house above. Beautiful. Now, when I tell you that it's freezing, it is actually Baltic cold. Now, have a look just in here, the way the tree has grown up through it. Look at that, the rail is right up through that tree. And here then, somebody has cut it down. Look the way the tree just grows right around it. That's the entrance to the church and I will bring you in there in a moment. Look at the size of the Celtic crosses here. Now we've a lot of, I don't know what's going on with the ground. You can just see it there, there's mounds and holes. Very strange. Look at this. Gorgeous. Now, in loving memory of Edward O'Loughlin, 
1932 aged 67 and his wife Bridget and she died looks like 1952 there's other people there as well look at that absolutely gorgeous Now, as I said, I don't know what's going on with the ground. It looks like animals. Maybe. It does. Would it be badgers? Could be a fox den or something like that. It's very it's strange. Look at that. Wow. Very, very. Lovely. Very wow, look at that iron cross there. It looks like it's barbed wire around it. We'll have a look at that now in a second. So we have a few more headstones just here. We have the lamb on this one. Erected by James Lachlan uh, for his beloved wife, Catherine, who departed this life. 1886, aged 50. And it looks like Reverend E. O. Lachlan, 1922. Another cross there. And another headstone. But I'm just a bit worried about that ground there what's going on with it now i'd like to see this cross here that is made out of barbed wire very interesting another iron one here We have lots of markers, or what I believe are markers. Look at that church. The bell tower. All the windows, of course, are... Vandalised. All broken and vandalised. Look at this. Another tree trying to take back the headstone there back to nature you'd wonder how this place has become like this as I said there's definitely been someone in trying to to clear it up clear the area and this is the the back of the church now this one has a lot of flowers on it so someone is coming here and visiting it's like a garden and we photos Patrick Shields 1981 age 75 and his wife Kathleen 2005 gorgeous photos there of Patrick and Kathleen And as I said, I have like a little garden of plants, we have angels, we have watering cans, cats. And then this church. Now we're going to just have a walk along here. I don't think we'll be able to read an awful lot of these, that one is completely broken. That one has fallen over. This is James O'Connor, age 78, died 1947 and his wife Christina. She was 78 when she passed in 1955. Their son Michael, 1993. And their grandchildren, James, Christina and James Peter, who died in infancy. Rest in peace. So we're kind of surrounded here by just farming land. This one has nice designs on it. Here lies the body of Judith Walsh, wife of Dan Walsh of Moortown, who departed this life 
November 24th, 1797. I don't know if you can see the date there. 1797, age 67. Also her two children, Mary and is it Donny Walsh? Dennis, is it? No. Could be Dennis. No dates for them. Beautiful headstone. And as I said, 1797 there. And this one is completely leaning forward. Look at that for designs. Um, age 72, October 1840 it looks like, uh, Edward Carey, is it or Carey, departed this life, 1840, age 72, and also his wife Mary, 1826, age 74, and their daughter Catherine, and the date then is gone. Another one here on the ground. Looks like John 1855. And the rest then too hard to read. Now that's the rear of the this church. Absolutely stunning. Look at that window. Right. Let's take a walk up along here. And it's terrible to see that every single window has been broken. And this beautiful church, there's lots of gra a glass on the, on the ground. Right. Right. Let's go in. rubbish there. Wow, look at that. Right up into the, the bell tower. And the old timbers. And that's a Paperwork. What is that? I do have sanitizer on me, so I'm going to have a quick look. Leaders Resource Guide. What's that say? Sign there saying we found your kittens. World Cup Hockey Bombay Olympic Games, 1984. Uh -huh. Where does that kind of stuff come out of? Oh, look at this. What a mess. Look at that, guys. We even have, look at that, a photo on the ground. Photograph. Loads of photos on the ground, there's more there. Am I allowed to show that Department of Zoology? Won't be able to see anything. 
Another one there. More photos. This place would have been absolutely gorgeous. Look at that window. We've even got a spirit level. Done. I don't know whether someone has come in and tried to um, tidy it up a bit. There's a doll down there that is kind of creepy. Isn't it? The doll, yeah. Oh. There. I was in abandoned places all the time. I mean, this place is absolutely gorgeous. Can you imagine building this into a house, restoring it, and turning it into a, a house? Look at that. Sad, isn't it? I see the timber work around the stone. Mm. The roof looks good, doesn't it? Yeah. I mean, I wonder are they trying to, are they going to do something with this? It's like the whole place has just been, like they're going to plaster it or something. Think. There was a roof on here and they just put one on there. Oh no. We've birds nesting up there. There is some damage done to the is it felt they call it. But it doesn't look like there's been water getting in here. That's like a a polaroid picture there. We've just lots of I don't know, we've a cup there. Like how did this all Get in here, like. What's that? Mastering change facilitators kit. Like, how does that come in here? Like, there's a video cassettes. I wonder, did someone just come in and just dump everything? a shame really and then this would be the other entrance in absolutely gorgeous doesn't it But sad at the same time that, you know, it's left like this, in this condition. And as I said, maybe somebody will, I don't know, restore it or do something. And definitely somebody has clear, been clearing the area. But imagine the bell. It's still in that steeple there. You probably won't see it, but I can see it from here. Kind of a gothic feel to it. Absolutely gorgeous. Once again, those rails. As I said, two hours to get here. Just to see this beautiful place. This abandoned church.
absolutely fantastic but as I said extremely sad to see it like it is so please God people are coming in to um, you know fix it up or at least make it um, safe Yeah, kind of a, a gothic feel to it for sure. And it's just up this, this lane in parking off the road. Alright, so I've just zoomed in there just to try and show you the veil. Just there. Still there. Using how it even has the the cord coming from it. So guys, on this freezing cold day, from Kildare and this beautiful um, abandoned church, take care, God bless and I'll talk to you all soon.